Welcome to Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art, and I'm Mr. Woods. And in this episode of Odds and Ends, I'm going to show you how to decoupage your very own butterfly. So first, print off an outline of the butterfly that you can find on my Facebook page. You're going to need some white glue, paintbrush, small container for your white glue, along with just a little bit of water, and lots and lots of tissue paper. Colors, that's all up to you. You can cut them into triangles, rectangles, or squares, but make sure you give yourself enough to hang on to. So find those materials and let's begin. I have my paper secured to my table. I'm using a square tip brush. I have a cup of white glue with just a wee little bit of water, just enough to thin it out. And I just can mix that up. I have my tissue paper right here to beside me. I'm gonna start in the top left corner and I'm gonna work my way down and I'm gonna overlap and layer my tissue paper and then go from the left over to the right so I'm not leaving any gaps or any white spots. So just add a little bit of glue and then pick up your tissue paper and your fingers. Gently place it down and lightly touch it with the brush. Doesn't take a lot of glue so just glue one section at a time and then my pieces or your pieces will go over or overlap the edges. So don't worry about getting outside of the line. We're going to cut this out later. And just put each piece down and just put a light coat of glue over the top. And this way you can start and stop. If it takes more than one day for the project, that is fine. And what's cool is even if you use just a little bit of glue, the colors will still bleed together. So you'll have the shape and some awesome looking colors. And then you'll be able to see the different shapes you know, through the other pieces of tissue paper. So I'm just taking one, one little piece at a time. And again, I've, I've cut my pieces large enough that um, makes it easy to hold on to, but not so big that it's going to cover up the paper too quick too quickly. So place her down and here we go. And don't saturate your paper with the glue. And then make sure you separate your pieces out. And you'll you'll motor along pretty quick. And by doing it this way it's going to keep your fingers from Getting all that color all over them. So I think you have the idea. And uh, I will hurry up and finish this butterfly and move on to the next step. Okay, I have uh, the entire butterfly covered. I've overlapped and layered all the different shapes and different colors, so it looks pretty awesome. I need to uh, allow it to dry right now, but I'm really excited because the little pieces of tissue paper are so translucent, you're able to see the different shapes, and then when they combine together, you even get new colors. Um, if you see any spots, that need to be you know just gently touched up with a little bit more glue on top go ahead and do so um, and then you have a couple choices you can just wait for the glue to dry or you can accelerate the process by using a hair dryer um, I will be back shortly 
to go over our next steps. But uh, while we're waiting for it to dry, you will need a couple of items. One is going to be a pair of scissors and some type of Sharpie marker. I'm going to go with a Sharpie marker that's a fine point. Now my tissue paper is dry and you can visually see the outline of the butterfly because the tissue paper is so um, translucent. So the next step is to use scissors and I'm going to cut around the edge. After the butterfly is cut out, I'm going to draw a little head and body using just a Sharpie marker. First I'll just outline and then I'm going to fill it in with, with the marker. And then from here you can decide how do you want to jazz up your butterfly? What do you want to add? Um, I have a few things that I'm going to add to it. You can just leave it this way or um, you can draw more of a design on the outside edge of the butterfly and then that, that design can carry into each wing. You can add some antennas, glue on some eyes, make some eyes, glue on some googly eyes, whatever you want. Um, what I have is just a little piece of pipe cleaner. I'm going to cut a piece and glue it on the back for for antenna. I also have some googly eyes that I'm going to glue down as well. So just cut this in half. That'll give me plenty. So half again. I'm going to glue those on the back here in a second. But I have some eyes that I'm going to put on. I'm using hot glue, which you can use your white glue, whatever. See if I can get these in place. Second eye, your upper in there. Ha! <laughs> That's gonna make it fun. There's my googly eyes. So we turn it over on the back and add some glue here. What's fun about the pipe cleaner is you can play around with it and adjust it and uh, change the shape of it after the glue is dry. So get that first piece on here. Try not to burn yourself. And also on the back I have some magnets. I think I'm just going to put one magnet here and that way I can glue it on back and be able to put my butterfly on the refrigerator if I want to. There we go. Get rid of some of this hot glue strings. And let's shape our antennas. Oh yeah, this is super awesome. And here's my finished butterfly. I have attached the googly eyes, antenna, and man, it was a lot of fun. Look at the colors, look at the shapes. It looks so awesome. And I cannot wait to see yours. So don't hesitate, when you finish, Take a picture of it, upload it on my Facebook page. Thanks so much for joining me right here at Mr. Woods' Wonderful World of Art for another Odds and Ends episode. And after you create your decoupage butterfly, take a picture of it and upload it onto my Facebook page. Remember, if anyone can do it, it's you.